Welcome to another edition of Handicap Born Black in America. I'm your host, Ramon Roan, and this has been brought to you by Judicial Freedom Riders Incorporated. Uh, as you can find us on at on the web at www.jfrinc.org. We are a nonprofit organization, and our mission is to make our justice system more fairer to everyone. We know that our justice system is not fair. Today's topic is entitled, Beauty is in the Eye of the Beholder. Beauty is in the Eye of the Beholder. Actor Omar Omari um, Hardwick has a few choice words for people calling his wife ugly. Now, as I said, the title of this is Beauty is in the Eye of the Beholder. What may be beautiful to you may not be beautiful to everyone else. i give you an example. Um, Beyonce, she's an attractive woman. However, I don't find her as attractive as everybody else finds her attractive. I don't. I may, may say that, you know, what's something, something wrong with your eyes? Like, yeah, I do wear glasses, but I do not find Beyonce as attractive as everyone else finds her attractive. So it's really whether or not what is your cup of tea. Now, I think the root of this situation is is that Omari being black and his wife being white. That's what I think the issue is. Now, there could be said something about her fashion sense. Um, but I saw an image of her uh, uh, of her and her husband, um, Omari, and I said, man, she's a beautiful woman. Now, I've seen some other pictures of her where she wasn't as attractive, but not because of her face or her body, but because of what she had on, her, 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 her fashion sense. That may be not my t cup of tea or maybe most of the cup of tea, but I believe that it's the issue of her race and his choice. That's his choice on who he chooses to date. If he chooses not to play a black woman and he chooses to, to, to date whoever, so what? Does he love her? I mean, he must love her to marry her. It wasn't like she was... As far as I know, she, it's not like he married for money. But nobody knows her. Everybody knows him. So it couldn't have been that old. She, no, he. I would make the assumption that he loves her her she had a his child which by the way passed away so for them to be harping on i mean we should show some that man some sympathy i believe he had in a short period three year period he had he lost three close family including the son um a brother and i think a, another family member um uh, in, in in three years and he has to deal with the fact that you were criticizing his wife so what now the question is that I would have is that who are you to determine what he, who he should be with? It's none of my business. And un, unfortunately, um, on cyberspace, you never accuse your you never you confront your um, your critics. You know you can you can just uh, write something out there and um, don't have to worry about it. But uh, words do hurt. They 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 definitely do hurt. And um, so he, his wife, you know, what is his wife going through? I mean, you know, it's already because we live in the most racist country in the world. Um, what do you think she's going through right now? I mean, just to be in an interracial marriage is, is difficult. It is. What well, makes it more difficult when your own people are upset about it. But I believe the root cause of it, I believe the root issue is she's white and he's black. That's the root issue. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong. Like I said, I, I, I don't like her style of, um, of dress or, 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 and her maybe her haircuts and all that stuff there. But other than that, she's a, she's a, she's a beautiful woman. Not ugly and no sensual imagination. By the way, I wish those people who are calling her ugly. Let's see how you look. <laughs> you know, maybe before you call somebody ugly. Maybe you want to look in the mirror before. Just 
every now and then. Look in the mirror. If you look in the mirror, said you said, look, I can't call nobody ugly. <laughs> Just can't call nobody ugly, you know. Don't do it. Before you start, before, like a little boy told me, before you um, try to sweep in my front door, try sweeping in front of your own front door. Got me? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. This has been another edition of Handicap Born Black in America. Please like and subscribe to Judicial Freedom Writers channel, which is John and John Singleday and Ramon Roan, as we seek to accomplish our mission of making our justice system fairer. Visit our website at www.jfrinc.org and become a member. Join the effort for $36 per year, not a month, per year. This has been another edition, and I am signing out. Thank you.